Moving on, urban gardening startup Ugau has raised 47 crore rupees in a Series A funding round led by V3 Ventures. This round also saw participation from existing investors, DSG Consumer Partners and RPG Ventures. With a big bet on India's home and garden market, Ugau is planning to expand its production capacity to 100 acres in the next two years. In the last three years, the startup has achieved over 1 million orders with an annual recurring revenue of over 100 crore rupees. Joining me now to discuss their growth plans, the fundraise and their product portfolio is the founder, Siddhant Bhalinge, the uh, Siddhant, many thanks for joining us on Startup Street. You know, Ugao is essentially making home gardening easy for young urban Indians, right? Can you take us through what made you embark on this journey so many years ago? What's the opportunity you're seeing here? So since the beginning, my family business has been a seed company and I did my landscape architecture in the US for five years. So once I got back in India, I saw that there's a dearth of specialized gardening stores. So the way the gardening market is kind of, you know, very mature and developed in the Western countries, I felt there was a gap in India and some there was a space for some brand to come in and really bridge that gap. So that's the reason I started Ugao back in 2015. Um, you know, it's been a great journey since then. Can you take us through the various services you have on offer? It's not just the plant itself, right? You also have a subscription-based model apart from, you know, other gardening tools that you can buy from you. So what are you seeing the most... A demand for and how many users have you served till date? So right now, uh, the online sales are is, is the primary channel that we use. Apart from this, we have garden services, wherein, you know, once you buy those plants, we also come in and maintain those plants. We help set up gardens, balconies, uh, you know, bungalows also. And apart from this, we are also available on quick commerce, on Blinkit, Zepto, uh, also, we are, have 10 stores and right now we are selling about two and a half lakh plants every month and our customer base is more than three million right now. So you're also betting big on the quick commerce boom that's been there. But, you know, you've raised a little over five million dollars, right? One of the primary uses of the fund will be to expand your regional presence. Uh, how many cities are you currently present in and how many do you hope to be in by the end of this year? Um, and which cities are you seeing the most demand from? Right now we are in five cities and we hope to be in another five more cities by the end of next financial year. Uh, the most demand usually comes from Bangalore and Bombay. We are seeing a huge uplift in demand from NCR now that, uh, you know, the air pollution <laughs> is going up. So it depends from, you know, season to season, but usually like, you know, it's the metros that uh, are high up there. So metro, metro is high up there for demand. But, you know, you have both online and offline presence, right? The target is to have 80 retail stores by FY30. Uh, how many stores do you currently have? And are you uh, well capitalized to achieve this target? What's the offline, online mix at this point? Well, right now we are at 10 stores and we are going to open another two stores by this year end. Uh, we are planning to open one store every two months going forward. And we are seeing a huge demand from tier two cities, as well as the other metros that we are not present in. Right now, the mix currently is 30% offline, 70% online. But in the next three years, we do anticipate that it will be a 50-50% mix. Um, right. So, you know, just wanted to know how well are you capitalized to open these stores then? Uh, will you need to raise more funds to be able to do this? So right now we are uh, profitable, operationally profitable. So we don't see any need to raise more funds, at least in the next three years. So until we reach that 80 store mark, I think we are well capitalized right now. So well capitalized. Um, you know, you're also looking to broaden your product offerings by partnering, partnering with international plant suppliers and introducing a diverse selection of exotic plants and premium plant care products, right? So if you could take us through your plans on this plant, what are these partnerships that you're looking at? So right now in the Indian market, the most common plants are money plants, jade plant, syngoniums, or, you know, right now the monsteras are coming up. But there's a wide range of varieties that are not yet available in the Indian market. So the goal is to really work with these, um, you know, exotic plant companies in South America, in Holland, Dutch, Europe, and really get these new species of plants in India. Because I feel the Indian plant lovers deserve more and more species. And now is the time that, you know, the market is ripe to get those exotic plants. So time for India to also have those exotic plants available. But what about revenues? You said you're operationally profitable. But where are you currently at and what's the target for this year? 
So right now we are at an ARR of more than 100 crores. Uh, we aim to end this financial year around 110 crores right now. We are operationally profitable and we hope to increase our EBITDA going forward. So the next year our focus is going to be more on the profitability side and more on the regional expansion side. Right, Sidhan, thank you so much for joining us on the show today and we wish you all the best going forward. All right, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Startup Street. More news and updates coming up on the other side. Stay tuned.